Hey Steam Deck fans, we've got a new Proton update that you should be excited about. Proton 9.0 beta updated and nearing release for Linux and the Steam Deck. Let's get into it. I'm Blaze2K. Okay, hit the like, hit the subscribe, click the bell icon if you love handheld gaming and want more about your homepage every day. Let's go. So this comes courtesy of GamingOnLinux.com, the best place to go for your Linux news, of course, right? Um, so Valve has pushed out what they're calling Proton 9.8. 9.8, 9.0 release candidate 2 with a whole bunch of improvements for gaming on Linux desktop and Steam Deck. It will show up as Proton 9.0 beta in your Steam library for now, and once it gets the final 9.0 release, it will become the main stable version of Proton. Cool. So here's all the changes. Previously playable only with Proton Experimental, Sonic Colors, Ultimate Con Command & Conquer, Red Alert 2, Yuri's Revenge, Command & Conquer, Tiberian Sun and Firestorm. I still love those games. Uh, Isling and the ta Tavern of Elves, Sneers of Ruin 2, Insanity Blade, Blood, the Walls. Fixed both on 9.0 regressions, Overwatch 2 no longer randomly crashes, that's good. Video playback in Age of Empires 2 Definit Definitive Edition works again. Total Warhammer 2, Total War Warhammer 2 no longer has clicking audio while playing videos. Call of Juarez, Gunslinger, no longer crashes on start. Sea of Thieves is able to play videos on Steam Deck. Lots of changes, guys. Um, Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced Edition is playable again. Mars First Logistics is now able to upload on Steam Workshop. Neverwinter, Star Trek Online and Champions Online are playable again on NVIDIA setups. Fixed input issues with Worms Armageddon. F main menu video is looping correctly in Call of the Chukulu. Um Fixed audio on Boomer Road, Doronko Wanko. <laughs> Doronko Wanko. Not a lot. <laughs> Fixed Civilization V. Touch only option in the launcher is not working. Improved cutscene desync in Immortals Phoenix Rising. Limited number of cores seen by following games, making them playable on a high count, high course count CPUs. Far Cry 2, Far Cry 4, The Witcher 2, Assassin's King Lit Enhanced Edition, Lara Croft and Guardians of Light, Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine, Warhammer 40,000 Dawn of War 2, all the Dawn of War 2 um, expansions, Outcast, Second Contract, Prototype, that is a lot of fixes for Proton. And what I do like to see, and what I'm proud to see, is that Valve are also making sure that, you know, Proton is improved across the board, not just for Steam Deck players, but for Linux desktop players as well, especially those who have maybe NVIDIA graphics cards. So they are not, they're not just focusing all their attention on Steam Deck, which is good for those of you Linux gamers. I am, I am leaning closer to maybe installing linux on my machine um so <laughs> updates on that to come soon but yeah thank you for watching guys i really appreciate you being here please check the links down below for ten dollars off your instacart order um if you use if you want to get groceries delivered to your front door and not have to worry about having to go to the store all the time and there's other stores on like home depot and stuff you know depending on all the stores in your area instacart We'll go and pick them up for you and bring them to your door and get $10 off your first order. It's a pretty sweet deal. Anyways, guys, I love you. I appreciate you. Click the like, subscribe, click the bell icon for the support, and consider clicking join to become a member. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Take care. Bye.